And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Was quite a gloomy day out there. We had a lot of low level clouds, even a few sprinkles being shown up on radar. Not everyone saw the rainfall, but despite the cloudiness, our temperatures didn't manage up to get into right around the seasonable value for this time of year, which is 79 degrees, 75 in Appleton, 77 in Oshkosh. It was 79 in Fond du Lac and 78 in Sheboygan. A little cooler in Anago where they had a high of 72 today, 73 in Sturgeon Bay. Right now, we just cooled one degree, 78 right now with calm winds. A little humid though, Duke Point is at 67. Our sunset tonight is at 8.04 p.m. Right now, holding on into mid and upper 70s for most of us, so not much of a change from our high temperatures. A little cooler in Anago, 70 right now. 72 in Manitowoc, it is 70 in Kiwani, and 77 in Wapaka. The humidity values, like I mentioned, have increased. We're seeing dew points all across our viewing area in mostly mid and upper 60 degree territory, so a lot more humid than what we saw yesterday and even the day beforehand. With winds coming in light and variable right now, they were coming in out of the south earlier, so that transported some of that humid weather, but overnight tonight there are going to be light and variable and also with the humidity in store as temperatures fall down could see some patchy fog. Radar satellite showing rather quiet conditions beside the cloud cover sticking around, but some sunshine farther to the north over northern Wisconsin. But we do have some more active weather off towards the west, another center of low pressure as a weak cold front came through the area overnight into this morning. And with that active storm system off towards the west, they are dealing with some strong and severe thunderstorms. They have tornado watches and severe thunderstorm watches in effect. And matter of fact, uh, even a couple tornado warnings ongoing because of some of that severe weather. Now, as for us, not anticipating any severe storms, but we could have some rumbles of thunder in the next 48 hours or so. As for the rest of tonight, can't rule out a few stray showers. But then as we get into the late overnight into tomorrow morning, the risk of rainfall really starts to diminish by the morning hours. However, as we go to bed, the fog will start to increase and we could be seeing visibilities down to a fraction of a mile. So just a heads up anyone driving overnight across our area. Then as we get into the afternoon hours, we do start to see a few additional rain showers popping up across our viewing area. And we also could have additional thunderstorms depending on how strong the uh, destabilization of the atmosphere sets up to be. 64 for an overnight low temperature, light and variable winds, early rain showers, but then the fog will continue to the morning hours patchy. That should erode by the afternoon hours, 77 for a high cloud does stick around here, and we do see those periodic showers and maybe even a rumble of thunder, which will carry over into Tuesday, a high of 78 degrees, a little cooler on Wednesday, high of 71, and then some sunshine does return on Thursday, and then by the weekend, temperatures will be climbing up, and with it, so will the chance of some thunderstorms as well, the chance of storms Friday, Saturday, and also on Sunday, so a little cool down during the middle of the work week, Regina, but then as you get towards next weekend, we start to warm things back up. The fog tonight, though, is a big note, especially for those who are working tonight or driving. Somewhere. Right, you obviously want to make sure you have the low beam lights at a little bit low of distance on the roadways and yeah, take it easy. Please no high beam lights. Those no, are the worst. That's like uh, you're just blinding <laughs> just yourself. Just blinding the person. Yeah. Right, Thank you, Chino, for that. We'll still ahead tonight. The Packers celebrating 